Hey, what's up, guys? So, um, I'm out and about today, and I had some stuff that I had to do. I had a doctor's appointment I had to go to. Um, but today, um, today's kind of been weighing heavy on me a little bit. Um, tomorrow will mark the one year anniversary of my brother's passing. And, uh,. <clears throat> I wasn't going to make a video or anything about it, but I didn't feel that it would be just for me not to because, you know, he was so close to me and then uh, the, the time that I got to go down there uh, and see him last year before uh, before he passed, I got to go down and spend some time with him and... Uh, that was the first time I'd seen him in like seven years. And uh, it was pretty amazing that I surprised him. And there were so many people that uh, I kept out of the loop because I didn't want I didn't want him to know I was coming. And uh, I vlogged a lot while I was down there. I vlogged uh, seeing him for the first time and um, all the way up till the last time I got to see him. Uh, when I was leaving to come home. And uh, it was really rough. And uh, I miss him daily. I, uh, I've i lost my mom and my dad. And, and God, they were, that was so hard losing them. But the thing with Brian, it's like... You know, I never thought that I would lose my big brother. And... Uh, It's, it's been real hard to get over. It's been... Uh, it's been real tough, to be honest with you. And, and uh, the reason things haven't been on the channel as much is because, like... I went through quite a bit of depression over it. And... Uh, I didn't want to talk about it because it hurt so much. But I felt... At the same time, I felt like... Uh, I did an injustice by not talking about him and uh, doing stuff like that. So, uh, sorry guys, I didn't think I would. I didn't think I was gonna get emotional. <laughs> uh, I'm usually good at uh, keeping this stuff under control, but um, I thought that I would piece together some stuff from my trip down there for some of you that maybe didn't get to see those vlogs and uh, just make a little video just remembering what a great man he was and uh that he'll always be with me and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna always be grateful that I had such a good brother uh he taught me everything he taught me so much like we were best friends he taught me to drive he took me he took me to get my driver's license and he asked my dad if he could take me because he was just so proud. And, uh... He always supported me in just about everything I did. And, uh... I love you, brother. Uh... So let's, let's take a look back, guys. Uh... And let's think about the good things. I'm gonna go ahead and roll that. All right, guys, it is early in the morning. It is 3.51, and we're fixing to head to the airport and get this vlog started, because uh, today we're going to Florida. Well, I am. Skills ain't. You gonna miss me, homie? Yeah, maybe just a little bit. You don't miss me, guys. So, let's get on the road. All right, guys, so we're on the plane, and the next stop is going to be Tampa. Get some shots out the window when we take off. But, uh, yeah, we're about to power everything down and we're about to taxi out. So here we go. The change in cabin pressure should this occur for oxygen masks will appear overhead. Immediately pull down on that mask till the plastic tubing has been fully extended. This will start the flow of oxygen. Place the mask over your nose and mouth and breathe normally. If you are sitting next to children or just anyone that needs a little extra assistance,
kind of nervous this thing for the first time in a long time. So. Just gonna see. He almost busted us. He just called my brother on his to wish him a happy birthday. And he video called him. And <clears throat> he almost seen me. So. So someone told me my brother lives there. You wanna give me some love? <laughs> so now we're inside. What is this place? I've never been in here. Well, I knew the name of the pier, but like there's an ice cream place. Ballast Point ice cream. That makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> so we're at Ballast Point ice cream. Actually, it says Taste of Boston. I don't know. Alright, we're in Florida. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're at Ballast Point at the ice cream shop. Yeah, so you guys see, and look at my face. Do you see this? It is 2,000 degrees outside. In my used to. Look, he ain't even sweat. <laughs> but this place has been here since I was a kid. And I remember coming here, like I said, with him fishing all the time. And as kids, if we got to come inside here and get ice cream or something, it was a huge treat because times were tough back then. And uh, so I had to come in here just because I can afford to come in here now on my own and get something to drink. But they were tough. I remember we used to eat cereal with a fork with a share of milk. Pass the milk to the next person. And then the last person to eat had to put it back in the for the next guy. I remember that. It's true, yeah. True story. <laughs> so we're going to go and do some more stuff. Yeah. We're going to try to stay out of the heat. Because look at me. We're going to go try to have some fun. And we're going to go have some fun and show you guys some more stuff. So, All right. Peace. What a wonderful world.